My name is Captain Craig Clapperton. I'm the commanding officer of USS Theodore Roosevelt. A lot of people think about when they think about Theodore Roosevelt is toughness and grit and the ability to, to fight hard. He was one of the first people to realize that uh, aircraft could have a great impact to both the United States on a military perspective and on a commercial perspective. So Theodore Roosevelt was really the full gamut. He was a great leader, an inspiring leader, uh, somebody who fought from childhood illness to be a great outdoorsman. Uh, he could have rested on his laurels as a wealthy person and part of the, uh, the government and the, uh, and the War Department, but he didn't. He went out and fought for his own commission, built his own, his own uh, battalion, the Rough Riders, put that whole team together, and then basically did everything he could to get his team, his battalion, his men into the fight, into the war. So he really is the full, the full picture, the whole package of leader and warrior and inspirational uh, government leader. I think this ship and its crew really embodies that spirit. Uh, the ship and the crew have gone through so much over the last year and really throughout the ship's 30, 30 years of existence. But specifically in just this last year alone, the ship and the crew have completed an eight and a half month combat deployment all the way around the world, leaving from Norfolk, Virginia, and then finishing up with a home port shift here to San Diego. So as the ship turns 30, she's gonna be just like brand new leading edge technology in great maintenance condition, ready to go out, do the nation's bidding, whether that be something is on the low end of military operations like humanitarian assistance or disaster relief, maritime security, a maritime interdiction, combat operations against uh, Islamic extremism or even major combat operations, Theodore Roosevelt and her crew will be ready, just like Theodore Roosevelt was ready for whatever the world brought to him.